Hey everyone, today we're gonna bake a little bit of salmon. I know you love salmon, so wait till you see how I do this on the Cooking Everything Outdoors show. The Cooking Everything Outdoors show is sponsored by Camp Chef at OutdoorCooking.com and IslandGrillStone.com. Hey, before we get started, I wanna show you the equipment we're gonna use today. My favorite piece of equipment, my Camp Chef oven. I've got that sitting on my Camp Chef Somerset stove makes a great combination because we're going to be baking today. Now you could do this in a grill, but I find that this combination works out just fabulous. We're going to do some sauteing. We're going to do some baking. Now ingredients wise, there's not a lot to this recipe, which you love and certainly I love. Now you will need some puff pastry. I've got mine sitting in the refrigerator right now. I don't want to have it outside until I absolutely need it, but I'll show you that a little later on. What I have is four pieces of beautiful fresh Atlantic salmon, some shiitake mushrooms, a little uh, brown, must, spicy brown mustard, an egg, some flour, heavy cream, fresh leeks, and some dill. Now, of course, the ingredients list will be in the show notes and on the website cooking-outdoors.com. Oh, and you're gonna need a little bit of water. Not much, just a little. So the first thing we're gonna need to do is sear our salmon on each side for just a couple minutes. I have a pan that I'm heating up on my burner. I'm gonna add some extra virgin olive oil and when your pan's hot, place your salmon fillets in there. Just for a couple minutes on each side. Then give them a flip. And then pull them. Don't throw these goodies out. We're gonna be sauteing our mushrooms in this next. So we're gonna soften these up a bit. If you need a little bit more oil, go ahead and add that. Once your mushrooms have cooked down, add your leeks. So now we have the woodsy flavor, the shiitake mushrooms, that earthy flavor, and these leeks are gonna sweeten up really really nice so once we have our mushrooms and leeks softened up we've released all those flavors I'm going to add some salt maybe a pinch and some fresh cracked black pepper we want to add our mustard in which is going to add a little bit of tartness to this that mixed up Turn our heat down. We don't want to burn this. Mmm. We want to add our heavy cream. It's just going to make a wonderful sauce. We're going to just cook this for a little while. Make sure that mustard and everything's blended up nicely in there. We want this to cook so it's fairly thick. And then now you can take your dill. Dill's a matter of personal taste. I have about three little uh, stalks here of it. And you can certainly chop this up as you want, but it's such a tender herb when it's fresh. You can just pinch this right off into there. I do the soft stems on the tip as well. And remember, fresh herbs you always add at the end. Okay, let's thicken this up. Oh boy, that's just heavenly. Once that's thickened up real nicely, turn off the heat, set it aside. We don't want to burn this. That's what we're looking for. Now at this point, you need to work fairly fast if you're outdoors like I am. Sun's kind of warming things up a bit and puff pastry doesn't work real well if it gets too warm. I have my oven on. I'm preheating it to 350 degrees. Let me show you what one of these looks like. So you're just going to unfold this as carefully as possible. It might break on you. If it does, you can just take a little bit of water and patch that back up. That flour that we had, we're going to put a little bit of that down. 
and spread that around. We don't want our pastry dough to stick. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this in half. Now, depending on the size of your salmon, uh, you may need a whole sheet or a quarter sheet. If this was a little softer, I could roll it out and make it a little thinner. But uh, right now, I'm just going to go with it the way it is. So that egg I had, we're going to need that. Egg wash can either be egg whites, it could be egg yolks, it could be a combination of both, which is what I'm doing right now. A little bit of water. And I might highly recommend a little bigger bowl, but we'll make this work. Take a little bit of our sauce, about a fourth of it is what we're looking for. One of our salmon that hopefully won't fall apart on us as we put it in there. There we go. Just like so. And then we want to bring our puff pastry dough up and over to seal that all together. Like so. A little egg wash in here. You could trim all this excess off if you'd like. It's not really critical. Let's tuck that in. Take your egg wash and put a little bit on the top. Make sure that's pretty. Take and cut a couple vent slots in it. Just like so. And take a baking dish. These are my favorite kitchen aids. A little oil on the bottom. And we're going to very carefully lay our pastry in there. We're rolled stuffed, packed, and egg washed, and it's ready to go into my Camp Chef oven. 350 for about 15 minutes. We just want this to brown up and the salmon to finish cooking. Well, it looks and smells like it's done, so let's take a peek here. Ooh, look at that. I think I would have liked a little more puff in my puff pastry. But that is a beautiful thing. Oh man, this is exciting. So I'm going to get one of these out. We're going to plate it up. We're going to pop a beer and we're going to give it a, a try. Look at that bad boy. Mm. Man, will you look at that? That is just salmon heaven in a packet. Whew, that's hot. But we got to go for it. Mm. That really has some nice flavor to it. The salmon isn't overpowered by anything. You can pick out the leeks and the mushrooms. You got to give this a try. And while you do, make sure you subscribe to my Cooking Outdoors channel on YouTube. This is great. I'm getting sunburned. I'm out of here. I'll see you when I see you.